Welcome back to Closing Arguments. I'm Michael Ayala in for Vinnie Politan. Now, we have been following a case out of Dixon County, Tennessee, where a defendant, Stephen Wiggins, is on trial for shooting and killing police sergeant Daniel Baker and setting his body on fire inside a patrol car. Today, the jury heard what could be some of the most critical evidence in this capital case. First, the video footage of Sergeant Daniel Baker's body cam, which began filming from the start of the traffic stop to the moment he was shot and killed. The state also played the recording of a radio dispatch where the defendant allegedly impersonated a police officer from inside the car after the shooting. So let's listen to some of what the jury heard today. I'm at the corner of Sam Vineyard and Tidmore. Tidmore Street. Confirmed, uh, Kingston Springs. Sorry that. In custody, one male on the way to the detention. 
Agent Needs, that last voice we heard, do you recognize that voice? I do. And whose voice is that? It's the defendant, Stephen Wiggins. And what does he say? Or what did he say? He said, Roger that, uh, one in custody and route to Dixon Central. Okay. And that was in response to some radio traffic? Yes, uh, the dispatch had confirmed, and when they say confirmed out of Kingston Springs, it meant that they had confirmed that the vehicle was stolen out of Kingston Springs. Now, the jury also saw a recorded interview Stephen Wiggins did with law enforcement officials from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation after being apprehended. Here's that. And the reason that we're going to talk to you is about the incident that happened out on Pickle Switch. Okay? You're sorry? Stephen, I'm going to have to ask you to speak up, my friend. I'm sorry. Well, we understand that. That's that's what we want. That's what we're trying to to kind of get an understanding of what happened, what transpired, what the sequence of events. Okay, we're not like Nathan said. We're you're a man. He starts screaming at me for no reason. Okay, and he went to draw his gun, and I I didn't even have money in my hand or nothing. I don't know why he started screaming at me. I was really just started. Well, what got me? He didn't even remember my name or nothing. He just started screaming at me. I don't know why. I was trying to get out the door. The door was messed up. He never asked me to step out. And I was trying to get out of it. And it was messed up. And he started screaming and stuff up his lungs at me. He just started screaming at me. And he runs around to the passenger side. And he starts pulling her out of the car and he grabs his, he goes grab his pistol. And I, I'm sorry. You see what? I cracked mine. What? And I know he hadn't seen it or nothing because it was covered up under the seat and I wasn't intending on using it on him. I really thought it was going to kill me. Open my life. I don't know why I started screaming. You said you grabbed it. You know, what happened after that? What did you do? I just grabbed it. I just squeezed it to the fire on me. I was scared. And like you said, I'm just saying it's tough. It's, it, it's a tough situation, but I'm not here to tell you. I just want you to tell me the, the story you want to tell me, okay? I just don't know why he started screaming at me. No, I don't. I hadn't done anything. Anything at all wrong with it. I was so off right I was going to get out. I was, my door's messed up. And then all at once he started flipping. And I was screaming at me. And I don't care if you don't hurt nobody. And I do it just to keep myself safe. Okay. Because I've been, I've been robbed and I've been shot at. Sure. It's hard to get a job. And it's hard, it's hard to get a job. So, Stephen, when, when he came around and did, you were telling us what what happened. The, what was he coming? What was it? Take us from. Where you just said he didn't see the gun, take us through that to help us kind of understand. Because, I mean, we, we, we do know a lot of things, but we don't know, you know, what, what happened from your point of view at that time. I, I don't know, man. He just started screaming at the top of his lungs. And what was he screaming at? <clears throat> do you remember? He was screaming, get out of the car, get out of the car. I don't even know why he wanted me on the car. He began with it. He, got, he walked up and he asked what was going on. I told him we had a flat tire and I had a friend on the way. And he was like, okay. And then he starts just like, he asked me for my ID. He asked me for my ID. And I told him I wasn't sure exactly where mine was because we, the car was packed and moved. You know, and everything. And, just, yeah. and 
Okay, he asked my wife her name and so forth. But the quick But he asked her her name and social. And he asked me my name. And I told him, and then he just started screaming at me to get out of the car. Like he had run, he had the microphone, he had the nut. And he just started screaming at me to get out of the car. I don't even think, that's not even decent anymore, is it? Well, what, what happened after he was screaming? Uh, and he just started screaming, get out of the car. I started trying to open my door. And it's messed up. Okay. And I told him, I said, look, I, I gotta use this pair of pliers down here. He said, okay. And he steps back and he's got his hand on the bed. Well, I use a pair of pliers and I'm trying to get the two in. Because there's two bugs in there and you gotta un use one to unlock one yeah, to open. Right. Right. And he's like, okay, it's okay. I'm coming. Can you get out of the passenger side? I was like, yeah. And he's like, put your hands on the steering wheel. I put my hands on the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And he walks around and like, he's trying to yank my wife out. And I, I mean, I know she has it done nothing wrong. Right. And, and he goes to draw his pistol on and scramming him. And... <laughs> I started squeezing. I started squeezing. What were you squeezing? I started squeezing. Do you remember how many times you slid in the church? Just until they quit. Okay. No, I did a nine-round clip with one in the chamber. A nine-round clip with one in the chamber. Okay. That makes ten. I know this. And so you pulled the trigger Just at least ten times to make it again. Not back. But at least then he was already pulling this again. I thought I was shot. Okay, so you pulled it to the lock back and tell us what happened. Tell us what you did then. Oh, my wife was screaming. She was screaming at the top of her lungs. She didn't have nothing to do with it. I told her, I said, just, I said, just get away from me. I don't want to hurt you too. And she took off running. Were you going to hurt her too? I don't know. I don't know. I was so scared. Alright, so when she ran, did she run off then when you told her to? Uh, yeah, she took off running. And, <laughs> I think she might have come back before I was gone, and I don't got screaming at her to get away from me. I'm a monster. Is it that right? We got burning in the end. Okay. I've never seen her since I just went to her, but when I'm bored. Does anybody know where she is? What you keep saying in your wife, what, what is her name? Her name is Terry. She's down in the corner. Uh, okay. Okay. Erica, what? You kissed her. Oh, okay. 